Data on the now bring in retired General Keith Kellogg, Fox News contributor and former National Security Advisor to President Trump and Vice President Mike Pence. General, good to see you this Friday morning. So we have Secretary Austin, who's throwing his support behind Milley. Add to that, the president's throwing his support behind him, saying he's got full confidence in General Milley. You worked with him in the last administration uh, as chairman mm -hmm. of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, and you the National Security Advisor for the vice president. Do you have confidence in him? Uh, John, thanks for having me this morning. No. Look, I think Secretary Miller, if the reports are true, or, I'm sorry, Chairman Miller, uh, if the reports are true, really overstepped his bounds. Look, he's got three roles. He's a senior, uh, the principal military advisor to the President of the United States, to the Secretary of Defense, and the National Security Council. That's it. The Constitution is really clear. Article 2, Section 2. There's a unitary commander-in-chief. It's the President of the United States. That's it. And, and, Pre and President Trump it was fully within his rights to make some hard decisions going into January on what was going to happen and what was not going to happen in the international space. And Mark Milley's job is to support that because as a principal military advisor, he gives that support and goes forward. Look, it looks to me, John, like we're getting into really situational determinations on the role of the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. Mm -hmm. Let's be clear. This is all about Donald Trump as commander in chief and the president and what happened on the 6th of January. Look, the president got mad on the 6th of January. I got it. I was in the West Wing with him. I was in the uh, Oval Office with him. People get mad, you get mad, I get mad, and then they come down from that. But I've also been with the president longer than any other national security advisor uh, at the senior levels in, in four years. And I saw him go through some really tough crisis situations. One of them was in 2019 when the Iranians shot down a drone mm -hmm. and there was a lot of people wanting to start military action. And I was in the situation room when he got some really bad advice from the current then current National Security Advisor, and the President took that advice, looked around, around the room, talked around the room, and made a decision that he was not going to escalate at all and, and made a pretty hard call on it. And oh. I saw him in those crisis situations. He was never, uh, you know, out of control at all. And I get the implications and the in insinuation that Mark Milley was concerned the President was getting out of control. Well, that's mm -hmm. garbage. It's just not right. true. So, so he apparently, General, was acting on intelligence that China was getting a little hinky as to what the United States might do and whether an attack was coming. That intelligence, if it existed, would mm -hmm. seem to have been quite compartmentalized because sources tell me that neither the Secretary of State at the time, Mike Pompeo, nor National Security Advisor Robert O'Brien were either aware of that intelligence, nor did they talk to Milley about it. Mike Pompeo was asked about it this morning on Fox & Friends. Here's what he said. Yeah. I certainly didn't feel any compunction to call my Chinese counterparts and tell them that, hey, you need to, you need to relax, you need to uh, back off. We were determined. You saw what we did to push back against the Chinese Communist Party. We were forceful and serious, and I think the Chinese understood that in a way that was consistent with what we were actually doing. So you had the president's top civilian military advisor, Mark Esper. You had the top military advisor, General Mark Milley. Should that have in, that information ha, should that information have been relayed to the National Security Council? Did you know about it? Look, we are all the very senior levels. We are all uh, individuals who receive daily the presidential daily briefing. All of the very insightful and very uh, mm -hmm. close hold information out there. You heard what Secretary Pompeo said. It, well, it wasn't there. O'Brien would have seen it. Pompeo would have seen it. I would have seen it. The president would have seen it, and if they're saying they didn't see it, then it wasn't there about Chinese intentions. So that was kind of like, well, I need to make something up uh, to say why I called somebody. Look, I, I really believe this, John. Mm. Mark Milley made a mistake. He should not have done, if it's true, what is reported in the book, uh, he, he were, went yeah. way out of bounds in a political lane. I, I can't uh, imagine Colin Powell doing this, Hugh Shelton mm. doing this, Dick Myers doing this, uh, Joe Dunford doing it. Right. Uh, just wrong. Well, we will find out uh, more about what Mark yeah. Milley was told and asked to do and what he did when he appears before the Senate Armed Services Committee coming up on the 28th of this month. General Kellogg, always great to see you. Thanks for spending time with us. Thanks, John.